most markets are probably better described by oligopolies. These are markets where there's more than one market player, yet where each firm is large enough to actually affect the price. So basically, an oligopoly market is where there be a small number of firms in a market with substantial ent barriers to entry from additional firms. Okay, an oligopoly market where there's a small number of firms with enough barriers to entry that additional firms don't enter. Okay, so the classic example of an oligopoly industry would be, say, the auto industry. Okay, here's a market with a small number of dominant players. There's been some entry and exit over time, obviously, but it moves pretty slowly. By and large, it's a market where there's very limited entry. And the question is, how do firms behave in this market? They aren't, obviously, it's not like perfect competition where they can sort of lazily take a price out of the market and just produce based on that price. But it's also not the same as monopoly, where they can just get to set the price and not worry about what other people do. They're in this in-between situation where they have price-setting power. They have some market power, but in a context where they have to worry about competitors. Okay? And so in this context, there are two different ways firms can behave. It's important to sort of lay out to start two different ways firms can behave. They can behave cooperatively or non-cooperatively. If they behave cooperatively, we say that they form a cartel. So our cartel is what happens when oligopolistic firms, when firms in an oligopolistic market behave cooperatively to determine the outcome. We call that a cartel. Okay? The classic example, of course, here being OPEC, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, which is a cartel that drives the price of oil. Okay, those countries cooperate in how much oil they produce to move the price up or down according to what the group desires. Okay, and essentially what cartels do is essentially turn oligopolies into monopolies. So what cartelization does, what a cooperative equilibrium does, is essentially say let's all get together and behave as if we're one big monopoly by cooperating. Okay. Now, and therefore, if you cooperate, you can get all the wonderful things monopolies get, huge market power, huge profits, et cetera. But as we'll talk about next time, it turns out to be pretty hard to get a cooperative oligopoly. There's lots of reasons why it might fall apart. And that's why in most oligopolistic markets, firms behave, behave non-cooperatively. Okay, in most oligopolistic markets, firms are behaving non-cooperatively. They're competing with each other, not cooperating. Okay, and that's what we're going to spend today analyzing is the case of non-cooperative oligopolies. Okay.